Hi guys! So, the light in here is a little weird. It keeps changing outside. It was like pouring down rain one second and super bright the next. So, if you can't see me, sorry. Um, I have decided to hop on the YouTube Pick and Challenge train and I wanted to do last year's YouTube Pig and Challenge, but like I said in my intro video, I have no balls, so I'm just getting around to it. Um, so what I'm thinking is I will do this year's challenge completely, and then I'm going to go through the last two year's challenges and do some of the topics that I don't cover in this year's challenge. Um, so this video is going to be A for altars. And I have three altars that I'm going to show you. Um, I'm hoping that I can edit everything together. I haven't edited videos on my new computer, so Hopefully that's still a thing I can do. It's Windows 10. I'm confused. Um, but if not, I guess I can just do like a part 1, 2, and 3 deal. Um, so the first altar that I'm going to show you is actually like right behind you right now. So I'll just get up and turn you around. So this one here is my ancestor altar, and it kind of goes up on the wall there. So these are a few of my relatives who have passed. This is my, oh you can't really see, this is my grandfather and my great grandmother, and that's me when I was just born. Um, I used to live with both of them. We all actually lived in a house together. My great-grandmother, my grandfather, my mom, myself. Um, at one point, my aunt, her now husband, and their first son. My uncle, who's actually over here, and this is my uncle Kiko. He lived in our garage. <laughs> and um, a few other family members in and out throughout the years. And so I was very close with my extended family growing up. This here is just my grandfather again by himself. So there's him um, a little bit older and here's him when I was maybe like a few months old. Um, and then this right here is my mama. She just passed away in 2016. She was only 40 years old. Um, and this is just, like, one of my favorite pictures of her. Honestly, she looks like a freaking model in, like, half of her pictures. And the other half she's eating. So, <laughs> um, this is just one of my favorites. And here I have, this is a little button that has my mom's picture on it when she was little. This is a cross that was, it can hang. I just didn't hang it. It was hanging in our house and this was a little um, guardian angel if it'll focus no no this is a little um, guardian angel medallion um, that my grandfather gave me and I used to keep it under my bed or under my pillow and it has the little guardian angel prayer on the back um, and then these are some little um, pictures of like saints and stuff that we had hanging in our home when we all lived together. And so this just reminds me of them. This was on my grandfather's bedroom door. I don't know why there's two of the exact same, but that's how they were and so that's how I put them up here too. Um, yeah, when we all lived together um, for a short period, he and I shared a room, and that was on our bedroom uh, door. 
and so whenever I see these it reminds me of them. Um, and then we've got just some candles in the back. These are really low, but they're just taper candles. And then I have this little candle holder with some black little pebbles in it, and it holds a tea light. And then, this is a mess, but over here is where I have my incense because it just doesn't really fit on the altar over there. That's our mantle. Um, so I will pause really quick and go into my bedroom to show you my other two altars. Okay, so we're in my bedroom. This is my dresser here. And this is my altar in dedication to my matron goddess Morrigan as well as the ancestors. Because, I don't know, just death vibes. Gotta put it all together. Um, so over here I have a little statue. And I also have a little statue over here. I just honestly love those. They are like death vibes, but still really beautiful, and I, I'm one of those people that can see the beauty in death. I don't think it's like some super creepy, morbid thing that you have to be afraid of all the time, and um, also I am Hispanic, I'm Mexican, um, I'm a lot of other things, but I'm Mexican. And growing up, I honestly um, didn't get a whole lot of that culture in. Um, it was kind of like this, mm, I don't know, like a shielding thing. My family seemed to not want to admit that we're actually Mexican because once you say that, then you get comments. Um, but I mean kind of get comments anyways because we're brown so didn't help much but yeah I like to get my culture in where I can um being on my own I'm identifying more closely with all of all of the little bits that make me me so I love those they remind me very much of like Dia de los Muertos and just again like finding the beauty in death in the darkness this is a little incense burner back here i have a candle over here which is patchouli amber and bergamot that smells really yummy i have a candle back there this is also a candle this is specifically for morrigan and on here I have some crystals, so I have some <clears throat> snowflake obsidian. This one is ammonite, and I forget what that one's called. I'll figure it out. But these ones back here just really remind me um, of like, you know, ancient type primal, I guess, type energy. Um, Snowflake Obsidian, I associate with the Morrigan. It's also very protective, so I just go ahead and put that there. Then I have some more um, throughout, just black stones. These two here are Shaman Stones. This is Jet. This is Tourmaline. This is also Tourmaline. I love this one. If you're ever having like a shitty day, this is a great baby to hold. Um, I also really fucking love this. Seriously, check that out. I don't know how well you can see that, but to me that is straight up a skull right there. Um, it is a black moonstone. I found it with, there was just like a little tray of black moonstone at the witchy shop that was down the way from where I used to live, and I was fumbling through there and then I saw that one and I was like oh my god that just screams her look at that skull so I had to have that this is another incense burner and then I have my sage and palo santo right here and 
this is not supposed to be a cauldron but I use it as a cauldron so I have some sand in there and then this is a charcoal disc that I need to toss that I used for some loose incense um, and then back there that is just a regular candle in dedication to the Morrigan and that's a cute lamp that I don't have a light for yet but I liked it so I put it there and then I will not walk you across my messy room but we will go see my other altar and working space kind of right now and this is my final altar slash working space I don't really treat it so much as an altar anymore but it's still it's got the magic um this I used to use all three tiers for my altar and I used it for years and I liked it but what I didn't like is that I can only have candles on the top and I really love to have like my working space lit up if I'm doing something there so I like to have a lot of candles um, and I can't have candles at the bottom it actually maybe you can see mm, it's not really picking up but here is all scorched from having a candle underneath and it was a tea light candle so that didn't work out for me so up here on the top this is just a little space that I leave open for my cell phone to charge at night because my bed's right there um, this is a pentacle coaster I got a set of these coasters and <clears throat> we don't use coasters a whole lot because we don't really have like a coffee table or anything but I always have to have water next to me all the time so this is here I put my water on there during the night or if I'm in the room during the day and um, that's my seating is my bed these two crystals are two of my favorites um, this is a lavender rose quartz that I actually got from Kimmy I believe she's going by Evan now um, and this is the first piece of labradorite that I ever bought I fucking love labradorite um, I actually had no idea it existed until I had a dream about it and I was like woke up and I was like oh my god there's this crystal in my dream and it's so gorgeous and it's like glowing and flashing and it's all these beautiful colors and I like I wish that that existed and then then I found it so I actually got this really cheap off of eBay I think it was like 10 bucks or something and this is something that I carry around pretty frequently um, both of these were recently in my bed that's why they're just here um, I do sleep with crystals. This was a cleansing spray that I had. It's empty now, so I have to make some more. But that's that. These are some essential oils that I have out for some reason. And this is a, um, like a perfume, more like a body mist, I guess, that my grandmother made when she was doing an essential oils course these two chests are actually inherited I guess um, when my mom passed away she had these this I know for sure was my grandfather's he had this in his um, he had like a trunk like a locking trunk um, that he kept special things in and so this was in there I don't know what he kept in here but I keep my chrysalis tarot in here with a piece of amethyst and right now my pendulum is in there it's also amethyst and then this trunk I believe was just my mother's I don't know where she got it but I like it it has some little bags in it and then these are just some crystals in a fluffy bag this is the earth magic oracle deck and then under here I have a a bag and um, a fairy 
Oracle deck. I can't exactly remember what it was called, but it was by Doreen Virtue. And then over here, I have my Tarot of the She under an Amethyst Crystal. This was actually given to my mom by my brother. And when she passed away, he said I could have it. There's also one down there that he said I could have. This is just a bag full of rosemary. I don't think you can see that, but it's rosemary. It smells delicious. Um, and that is just for a hair rinse that I do. I actually um, I started doing that years ago. I don't even know how many years, years and years ago, um, when Krista Piper, um, she posted when she was doing her no poo deal and she was doing, you know, the baking soda and the rosemary hair rinse and this is rosemary for that rosemary hair rinse that she does or did. I don't know if she's still doing it. Um, this is just a salt lamp. Um, it was gifted to me by my sister-in-law. I love you, Katie. And here I just have like all of my crystals that I wanted out. Um, I do have other crystals, I just don't have them all out. This one is super special to me, I'm blocking the light. Um, I found this in a little shop in Sacramento and I was actually looking for something for my brother. It was near his birthday and I was looking for a crystal for him. And I picked this up and it just hit me right in the feels. I literally started crying. That's never happened to me before ever. Um, but I picked up this crystal. I started crying and I was like, this feels like home to me. I don't know why, but it feels like home. And it actually came from Mexico, so that that could be why. Um, but I love this. It's hemimorphite. And my little shit of a cat knocked it over and broke some pieces off. So there's one piece there, another small piece here. This is that other crystal that my brother said that I could have. That was my mom's. Um, this is a little bear totem. Um, bear is my spirit, or one of the animal spirits that I work with. Um, is the one that I most identify with personally, like I am Mama Bear. So I have a little bear here, and I have a little bear here, and I actually, oh, I can't show you right now. Um, I do have a tattoo of a bear paw. Um, and then this little tray, it says, you are so loved. This was also given to me by my sister-in-law, Katie, and so it was something that was really special to me. I wanted it on my altar, so since this has been my altar, it's been here, and I keep all my jewelry, well, not all of it, but my jewelry that I frequently wear, I keep on here, so this is Labradorite. You can't really see. There we go. That's a Labradorite. This is also a Labradorite. This one reminds me of space. It's like a purple and blue. You can't hardly see, but it's gorgeous. This was like two bucks eBay. Um, that's a carnelian bracelet. Some more little pieces of my crystal that my cat broke off. This is a key to a special little box I have. Um, this is a piece of, and you cannot see this, uh, oh, that's a little better. This is a piece of Super 7. This was also under $10 on eBay. Can't remember exactly how much, it's been a few years, but yeah, under $10. This is a ring that my grandfather gave me, and I used to wear this every single day until... I got engaged. Doesn't really fit on my other fingers. It actually fell off and I lost it and I lost my shit. So, 
when I found it. I kept it there. This was something that my grandfather had in his chest, and it's an amethyst stone, so I keep that. And this is super cute. It's just a little, little cat ring. I love it. It's pretty cheap. I think it might be plastic under there, but I like to wear it when I'm feeling fun. And finally, down here, I just have all of my books. So this is where I keep my journals. And I use a happy planner, so normally that lives here too, but I was using it a bit ago. These are my fancy pens. These are all some books, all of these, that I either picked up and started reading, I meant to, or I, like, I mean to start reading, or like this one down here, this is Animal Speak. And that one I just reference a ton, so I like to have it out. Um, Spirit does tend to speak to me through animal signs. Um, in my in my dreams in life, they they tend to um, speak to me through animals. I think that's just because of me and how I receive things. Um, and then I also have Spiral Dance by Oak, Ash, and Thorn. This is just a fiction book. Um, this is The Bean Trees by Barbara Kingsolver. I actually read this in freshman year and I have been looking for this book ever since and I could not remember what it was called. And it took me, geez, like 12 years or something like that to finally find it again. Um, this I am currently reading it as Feast of the Morrigan. And I also have Inner Temple of Witchcraft and Temple of Shamanic Witchcraft. Um, I'm more interested in this one, but I feel like I should go through this one. I feel like it's got some good stuff in there. Little tidbits. Um, and I also have Magic of Reiki. Can you tell I like Christopher Benzak? I think you can. Um, then we have... Celtic Lore and Spellcraft of the Dark Goddess by Stephanie Woodfield. This is a Morrigan book and it is well loved. And this is finally the New Latinas Bible by Sandra Guzman. And I actually, I like was flying through this and then I was afraid I was going to finish it too quickly. So I started reading something else and I never came back to this. So <laughs> I do want to get back to it again. That's why I just put it over here. Um, I actually did just recently, like maybe two weeks ago is when I redid all of my altars and stuff. So these are newly added over here for my reading pleasure. So, thank you guys for sticking with me through this long-ass video. Hopefully, I can get it all edited together. And I will see you next time for B. Whatever that will be. <laughs> Bye, guys.